Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love and a little bit about who you might be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Pisces watching. So keep that in mind. If you find that this doesn't resonate for you at all, then check out the Pisces playlist in the description box. There's tons of videos there for your sign. So let's jump right in Pisces for Pisces. Spirit, angels, guides. Messages, guidance, please, for Pisces. What do they need to know, Spirit, regarding love? Regarding love, Spirit. What do I need to know? For Pisces, what do we need to know? What do we need to know for Pisces? Let's see what we have for you. Wow, the Seven of Swords, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, Six of Swords, King of Wands, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, and the Devil Capricorn Energy. What is going on? Okay, the star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius Energy. Look at all this major arcana. Um, Seven of Swords, King of Wands, I don't, I'm not thinking good things. I'm thinking that someone... Let's give them the benefit of the doubt because the King of Wands, yes, they are kind of like very charismatic, very attractive, very like life of the party energy. They're also mature. Could be dealing with a fire sign, a Gemini, a, Her a Virgo, a Capricorn, Aquarius. There's a lot of people here. But Six of Swords and the Devil, someone's leaving something, something like an unhealthy attachment, an unhealthy situation. I feel like in a partnership, at least one of you has withdrawn or gone quiet, maybe because of the Seven of Swords. The star is all about healing, hope. So someone could be wanting to heal this connection or has hope for something. Let's see. What else do we need to know about these energies? Spirit for Pisces. What else do we need to know about these energies? For Pisces, what do we need to know? Burdened heart, obligations, burdens, difficulties. Yep, unhealthy attachment. Someone's in an unhealthy attachment. Some sort of bond, toxicity, toxic environment, um, unhealthy like addictions, or just something that is like plaguing them far apart. Distance, separation, divide. Yeah, that's this Hermit energy. Someone feels very far away or is far away from you, has withdrawn. Let's clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Do I want to use this deck? No. I want to use this one. Can you get some insight, please? Some clarity for Pisces. What do we need to know? for Pisces. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Pisces? Tell me about the star. That's the overall energy. So what's going on here with this star? What do we need to know? The sun? What can you tell me about this star? What can you tell me about this star? Two of Swords. Why is this star here? Knight of Cups. Okay, so yeah, and there's the star again at the bottom of the deck. Knight of Cups and the star, I instantly think apology, healing, someone apologizing the sun is like good news happiness clarity radiance and the star is also very bright so it's almost like someone needs to this is a strange message but this is what i'm getting i think someone needs to apologize to you here pisces for something that they ignored that was right in their face or apologizing for getting caught red-handed. It's one of those two. 
And I think that this person like refused to see things in this manner or just took, you know, maybe they were very stubborn about this, even though it was right in their face or even though they were like in everyone's eyes, you know, it's, it's almost like someone that like stubbornly refuses to admit they're wrong, even though everyone saw them do that wrong thing, you know, let's find out what the seven of swords is about. Why is the seven of swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? I think someone here was unfaithful. Yeah, there's the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. More confirmation. Either someone was unfaithful or they acted or presented themselves as someone that they're not. And I feel like this was happening over a little bit of time. Like this wasn't just once. Strength, Leo energy. Yeah. This person was shameless, I feel. They thought they were going to get away with it or they thought that they'd be able to like control the situation in a way like I got this under control. No one suspects me or no one's going to be able to like tell me I'm wrong or you know because they don't know that what I'm doing is wrong in the first place because I'm hiding it from everyone. The world. The world and then also um, what was the other card that fell out or that I saw? Ah, what was it? I forgot now. But it, it was like the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups in the world. So I feel like someone walked away. That's why there's this far apart energy. Tell me about this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Why is this King of Wands here? Page of Swords. There's Death. Scorpio energy at the bottom of the deck. I think this person hoped that they would be able to talk this out. They were probably thinking I'll be able to talk myself out of this. Or if I'm caught, I have an excuse. Or I have something to like defend myself with. But it just it's not going to work. <laughs> it doesn't work out for this person. I feel like this blew up in their face. Tell me about the hermit and the lovers. 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 Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the hermit and the lovers. What do we need to know about this? Six of cups. So I think this is a very strong connection. There's the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I think that this, whoever thought they'd be, you know, wow. I'm getting that this person, like, they gave you space, Pisces, or you separated yourself from them. There was a disconnect between you, a separation of some sort, time apart. And I feel like while one person, okay, while you were apart from this other person, one of you was thinking, wow, I'm actually glad that this happened because now I'm realizing I don't want this. And the other person was thinking, this is my time to work on things, to improve the situation, to do what I need to do to get my other person back. Two different pages, right? I feel like the more time you spent apart from this person, Pisces, the more you realized something. But I think both of you are realizing different things about your connection. Like maybe you're realizing that this connection is toxic or this person is toxic 
or unfortunately maybe this person you're dealing with is feeling that way about you tell me about the six of swords and the devil tell me about the six of swords and the devil source in the double here wow the tower tell me about the six of swords and the devil the high priestess when i see the high priestess with the tower i think of a reveal a secret that is revealed tell me about the tower and this affected a connection two of cups or it was about a connection tell me about the tower Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Yep, four of pentacles. There's strength. This energy of control, once again, holding on. I feel like this tower took someone's control away. Tell me about the tower. If this resonating, if this is resonating for you, Pisces, let me know in the comments. Tell me about the tower. Justice, Libra energy, Four of Swords, King of Swords, Ace of Swords. Oh yeah, this woke someone up. This was a wake-up call for someone. This tower. Can I get one more for this Six of Swords? Can I get one more please for the Six of Swords? Why is the Six of Swords here? Five of Cups, Eight of Swords. I think someone left this connection because of this tower, because of whatever happened. And I think someone's regretful because of that. It's like maybe they weren't expecting someone to walk away, but they did. Wrong deck. Let's find out a little bit more about this person. Tell me more about this person that Pisces is dealing with or has been dealing with. Tell me more about this person's spirit. Tell me more about this person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Knight of Cups again. What do we need to know about this person? Can I get some more insight, please? Two of Coin. Can I get one more? Can I get one more, please? About this person. Knight of Swords. Okay, so what I can tell you is this person has something to say, but, and I normally don't say this, but I'm feeling the energy with this Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. The Devil is here, the Seven of Swords is here. I cannot ignore these. Well, actually, let me clarify that Two of Pentacles. Before I say that, let me not jump the gun. I'm wondering if you can trust this person. Tell me about this two of coin. Yeah. Tell me about the two of coin, please. What do we need to know about this two of coin? Page of cups. Tell me about this two of coin, please. Can I get one more? Queen of Wands. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. What does this person have to say to Pisces? What do they have to say to Pisces? Seven of Cups. 
What does this person have to say? To Pisces, what do they have to say? Knight of Wands. The star. Okay. I was kind of right. <laughs> Let me pick up a Hidden Truth Oracle. And I'll also get a Kipper and then I'll tell you what I'm seeing here. Can I get some more insight into this person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? I am great. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know? I know that I crossed the line with you. Wow, those two same cards came out for Cancer. So if you're dealing with someone that has Cancer in their chart, you might want to check out that reading. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? The Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with. Journey and unexpected income. Pisces, this is what I'm going to tell you that I'm getting with this person with the Knight of cups and the knight of swords the message they're going to tell you i think is it wasn't my fault or i wasn't thinking straight it's not going to feel like a genuine apology which is strange because this person i think is someone that uses words very um to their advantage i think that they're able to adapt to the situation so that they don't come out looking like the bad guy a hundred percent the blame has to go around <laughs> um and, you know, I think their intention is to heal the situation. I think that that is their best version of an apology. I really feel like they mean what they say when they say, I wasn't thinking straight. It's not totally my fault. I think that's the best that person can do. I don't think they have the range. Um to give you more than that. Maybe this, this is just a personality trait of theirs or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I could tell you that this person, they learned a lesson by everything that has taken place. I think you put them in their place or at least you created a boundary. Um, and this person, I don't think is used to that. I think that this person was surprised by the way that things ended, by the fact that they weren't able to control the situation to the end, by the fact that things got out of control. I think that this person, maybe in the past they've been forgiven, or maybe in the past they've, you know, their actions have been ignored or, or something like that. But that didn't happen in this case. They know that they messed up. They know they screwed up. And it's almost like they want to say, hey, I've learned, I've grown. Um, I'm thinking clearer now or I'm thinking in more mature terms or whatever. But the difference here is that while you were separated, you've realized something about this person that they, they didn't really bank on, you know? Let me know if that's true in the comments because I feel like when this person shows up, you're going to be like, thanks but no thanks. While we were apart, I realized that this just isn't the connection for me or you're not the partner for me, or we're just not good for each other. That could also be what you say, you know? But I feel like there is, um, let's see what's at the bottom here. We didn't even look. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, because I don't think this person has ever had to let go of anybody. I think that this is also like that energy of someone that normally they get away with things. Maybe they have a very like good sense of humor or very charismatic, very attractive, and so they're easily forgiven. But that's not happening in this case. I'm speaking to a Pisces where you are not willing to accept this person. At least not right now. Maybe in the future, but not right now. Right now, I think you're on different pages. 
I think that this person, honestly, I don't think they've ever had to like apologize like this to anyone before. I think it's almost like they're going to grovel. And it's not, it's going to be a, a messy apology because they don't know how to do it better. I don't, it's like they're out of practice. So they don't know how to really apologize from the heart. Doesn't mean that they're not being genuine. It's just that's the best that they can do. And I don't know if that's good enough for you. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.